Okay, sorry about that. Now my uh, my SD card was full, so it cut me off a little short. So, but uh, back to the molester guy or whatever he's calling me a pedophile. Um, yeah, that's called slander, <laughs> and uh, I don't recommend it. Um, this is Main Street, babe. We're gonna go over to the temple and see the lights. Hopefully they're still on. Keep them on all night. That's what your donations pay for, that 10% every month. But um, no, after I realized that this guy was obviously in a lot of pain either, and a lot of these guys that uh, focus on that sort of thing um, have either been molested or uh, and or they um, molest kids and they feel guilty about it and they should um i just i don't make a big deal about it because again it's none of my business you want you want to kiss your daughter in the mouth <laughs> that's your business that has nothing to do with me and there's nothing i can do about it so that's the other thing so but i think a lot of people get mad because i'm not like you know oh, let's kill all the pedophiles it's like dude you have no idea how many people that is Right. So like I was reading these studies because I watched this, that video. I'll, I'll post that video again is uh, these kids talking about these ultra weird, rich people eating children, uh, you know, and I, maybe that's where this comes from. But the way they're describing it is like super insane because uh, it's like, you know, they're telling the truth and you're like, wow, this is really fucked up. So boy, shit, I can't remember where I was going with this. The roundabout freaks me out. I'm like, what What do we do? What do we do? So, but, um, let's see, there's nothing you can do. There's a big satanic star up there. It looks like it almost. <laughs> star of Satan. Which is funny because the Mormons have bought up all the real estate around the temple. Number one to guarantee their uh here we go to guarantee their uh real estate oh no they got all the lights off so they went to they tore down the visitor center so but it was kind of creepy they had like these weird videos to try to indoctrinate you and trick you into being a mormon uh, and then pioneer park across the street which we used to play in the fountain uh which was hilarious because it's like uh that that used to be a fountain and uh, Pioneer Park is out now just completely filled with homeless and drugs and gross stuff and all that kind of other stuff. And they're trying to clean it up. See that Mormons got all these, uh, what are these townhouses or whatever? They got the businesses, businesses. down below. Mm -hmm. And then the party apartments. up top. Yeah, mm -hmm. apartments about up top. And uh, they got the light rail coming through here. And, uh, uh, you know, they just, it's one of those things where they, they, they purposely put stuff through a cycle. Uh, so that they can pick up everything for super cheap and uh, you know I think a lot of them have that uh, which is ironic that it's it, they have this uh, gnawing feeling at them of not being in control of their lives which is which I again I, I say is ironic because the whole point of being a Mormon is to give up your life to God and the church you know let them tell you how to think let them tell you how to make decisions <laughs> so, so but that's that's part of having a fractured personality is that uh you know if you have the confidence and the wherewithal to live your life in a positive manner and to treat people with respect you don't need religion and you certainly don't need god uh because you're doing everything right um and, you know, and if you fuck up, which we all do, try to make things right. Try to rectify the situation. Try to do something. And, you know, if you're in Mexico, get the fuck out of Mexico. Because <laughs> you can't really make things right there unless you give them all your money. So, but um, it's just real weird because I grew up skateboarding over here. And now there's just like tons of buildings. Benedict, Benedict uh, Catholic Mm -hmm. school yeah the catholics are like we don't have enough money we need to provide you with education too and get some of the education money so but you guys have heard my 
proselytizing on uh, how stupid schools are. It's like if you just want to learn something, just fucking read a book, get on the internet, study it, put it to work, start apprenticing, guessing, putting something. Well, that's what I tell you guys with the speaker building. That's one of the reasons why I don't get into super detail with the speaker building because you guys want every little detail, and then when something you know when you when you fuck up or when something goes wrong you don't want to take responsibility you want to blame me well Patrick told me to do the leads like this and they failed and so that's why I don't do that I'm like you got to you know and and the and the people that are respectful and people that are responsible and understand what I'm trying to do that's who I'm going to pay attention to so if uh, and I'm, again I'm not a business I'm not running a business I'm trying to uh, help people I'm a helper and uh, but if you are not a good candidate for help I'm not gonna help you so like so it's, it's funny we get um, you know on Google we're listed as the church and uh, I get f random phone calls all the time from people that want bus fare and I was, I'm like what are you doing like that's not how you get bus fare go go do something for it but you know the other thing is as as a church Oh, that's how we're doing. Yeah, we're doing the website as the church. Oh, that's going to be great. So as the church, uh, you know, you can, was it Chotsky's? That's what they're called. Mm -hmm. You can sell little, you know, bullshit items like coffee mugs or t-shirts or whatever. And, you know, say I squirreled around at the church's zeotology today or whatever. And, um, and then it's like a knockoff picture of like Rocky the squirrel or something like that. But anyways, um, you can do that as a church, right? And have bumper stickers. A lot of the mega churches here have uh, bumper stickers to let, so that you can tell everybody how good a person you are <laughs> as they're cutting you off in their BMW. Um, uh, and I don't, I don't, I don't think that's number one. That's effective, and I also don't like advertising like that. So I, I if anything, I want to. Um, infect your mind with cleaning up your own life and uh, cleaning up and fixing the problems that affect you rather than uh, going out and, you know, getting mad that Trump isn't your president or or that, you know, Joe Biden sucks or whatever. It's like the government's always going to suck. It doesn't matter who's in charge. And always remember that that shadow government is who really runs things, right? Nixon found that out. And uh, JFK certainly <laughs> found that out. Uh, <laughs> um, and yeah, and JFK is not going to show up uh, later. And, you know, surprise, QAnon, you, my believers, this is so dumb. Just because you believe in something doesn't mean it's true. So, and uh, that goes back to my thing about God. It's like, uh, you know, sure, believe in God with all your heart and your soul. What does that get you? Nothing. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. Nothing. Absolutely nothing changes. And and you say, well, it feels good. And I'm like, well, there's lots of things that feel good, but the biggest thing they've they've learned, and science has proved it, is that when you help other people in a meaningful way and you work towards your goal, that brings you happiness and contentment. It's never like joy. Let me turn left here, babe. Um, it's never like joy, like you know. I don't know when you when you have a when your baby gets pooped out and it's and it's okay. So it's uh, <laughs> like poor Chris Pratt. Thank you for the healthy baby. Like then they give him all shit because he's got a retarded kid. <laughs> you don't love your other kid. It's like oh my god, people. I'm just trying to share a moment with you. Jesus Christ. Uh, I do think it's funny though how how Jesus he he is because um, it's like what do you dude? Come on, what are you doing? You know, like there's enough fiction that you're in your life. You don't need that kind of shit too. But, you know, people believe what they believe. And um, in the end, you know, life is pretty tough. And, uh, you know, we all use uh, mechanisms and devices to uh, cope. Some of us use alcohol or relationships or um, religion uh, but, uh, again, if you stick to the facts and you stick to what really works, I would love to, I would love to say something is, is, uh, 
irresponsible as whatever makes you happy because that it doesn't it doesn't we're all built the same we're all from the same dna um somebody somebody's kids were having sex with their parents in order to make this happen uh you know adam and eve didn't just make a bunch of kids and then that was it right and then they found some lost uh, uh circle of uh, people to breed with that's not what happened so, you know, read your Bible. <laughs> Somebody was banging mom. Some dad was banging kids. You know, it was just, that was the way it was. What are you going to do? So, but um, we all share the same DNA and, and we're all built the same. And there's a lot of things that are really universal. And uh, that's, that's, that's some of them is helping other people. Hard work. And I mean, physical work. It's, it's physical work is really, really important. Um, and it's weird it, to me, it's kind of a waste to do like exercises. It's like, why don't you go, you know, to the flower factory and lift bags of flour or something like that, like do something constructive or better yet, next time I need you guys to help me unload the recoil fucking uh, container, fucking show up. It's 20 bucks an hour cash. <laughs> and then if you want to take trade, you can get even more cool shit. So, but uh, anyways, um, I love you guys. I really want to, uh, what's the word? The worst thing that can happen in life is that you die and you're going to die anyway. So that puts it back in your responsibility to decide what kind of life or better yet, what kind of death do you want to have? And then, you know, you work your way backwards, just like having any goals. You know, you're like, Oh, I want to be on the moon. By the time I'm 60, okay, you got 13 years, work your way backwards. What needs to happen in that time? Right. And that's where I'm at. So, cause it's not just the moon, right? Tesla's not going to just go, okay, you want to be the jizz janitor on the moon? Okay, go for it, Pat. I gotta, I gotta be valuable. I gotta earn my keep. I gotta show them that I'm uh, worthy of their time and expense. And so that's where the movies come in. So if I make a bunch of movies, and I run a studio for them and I help them make, uh, you know, a hundred billion dollars. They're going to go, yeah, sure. You can go to the moon and be the janitor. I'm like, okay, cool. I can't wait to see the, the, the Nazi submarines on the far side of the moon, uh, alien base. So, <laughs> but, uh, uh, life is too important to be taken so serious. I learned that from Dr. Gim in the air force when he was doing, God, I, get, I did like to nine toenail resections because my toenails are too wide for my feet. And, uh, but that's one of the things he told me. He says, life is too important to be taken so serious. So don't take yourself so serious. You know, be happy. It's a choice and it's an inside job, as they say. You know, you really can choose to be happy no matter what situation you're in, no matter if you're in prison and you're in a terrible situation, you can still choose to think happy thoughts and, uh, you know, focus on what you can do, not about what you can't do. Because if you can't do something, there's no point in putting more more energy into it. Always focus on what you can do. So, I'm tired. It's 12:30 at night. I love you guys. Have a great week. This month is going to crunch for Christmas, and it's. I recommend just staying home and focusing on your life and creating a, a new life for the new year. So that's, that's my recommendation. So, but I will talk to you more during the week and I'll do some more speaker shit. Cause I, for some reason you guys like that more than you like these talks. So, but talk to you later.